A production by the Calgary Youth Committee. All right, so today we're going to be talking about stem cell donation. We're going to be discussing things like what stem cells are, who can donate, and what the actual process of stem cell donation looks like. So what exactly are stem cells? Well, the simple answer is they're just cells that allow other cells to be created. I have a cool analogy for stem cells, and it has to do with the Pokemon named Ditto. Now, Ditto has two abilities. Ditto can either just do nothing and remain Ditto, or Ditto can turn himself into a bunch of different Pokemon. This is exactly what a stem cell does. And if you look on the diagram on the slide, the stem cell can either remain itself and create more stem cells, or it can become a, a muscle cell, a sex cell, a fat cell, a bone cell, or a blood cell, just to name a few. Stem cells are also needed for healing wounds, fetus development, and allowing a human to grow from a baby to an adult. Eligibility. So if you can't donate blood, you may be able to donate stem cells. Donors must be between the age of 17 to 35 years old. They must meet the height and weight requirements. So for more info on that, you can go to blood.ca. They must be free of infectious diseases, so things like HIV um, or AIDS, hepatitis B and C, free of health issues, so things like cancer, um, certain blood diseases, insulin-dependent diabetes, etc. So all of the above. And just be in general good health. And if you meet all those requirements, you can see more info on blood.ca. But yeah, if that's if that sounds like you, then you're definitely eligible to donate your stem cells. The stem cell donation process is straightforward. As a donor, you will first complete the eligibility questionnaire to determine if you can donate. You will then create a donor profile and fill consent forms. In around 5 to 10 days, you will receive a swab kit with instructions of swabbing, which will be used for genetic test. This will then register you for the stem cell registry. Once an eligible recipient is found, you will then complete a comprehensive health screening. A nurse will then discuss the type of donation and when and where the donation would take place. After that, you would complete a physical examination to ensure your overall good health. Finally, you will be able to undergo the donation procedure and your cells will then be infused into the recipient. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!